Hello. I'm just messing around with this stuff. I did get uh, the spindle brake and everything put on. I was just bored the other day and wanted to get something done. And I didn't really want to grab the camera, so I did that up and got it bored out. I used I needed a boring bar that could do real short stuff. So I went out in the forge a while back and just made up a little boring bar. This thing is awesome. It's out of 5160. It's just a piece of coil spring out of a truck, I think. Same stuff I've been making punches and everything else out of. Punches and chisels. And... But I just bored this out and finishes really nice almost glass smooth oh it works great because it clamps up real well and yeah anyways let's get to hobbing this gear I finally got the setup done up so we'll get started I'll see you over there Okay, this is the hob that I made. It's just hardened. I carburized mild steel, so it's and hardened it. But I took the angle grinder, just cut teeth in the thing, and they're not very well spaced, but they work. As you can see, there's no backlash at all in the gear, and the teeth are actually looking pretty good. Oh. Take the tripod down here a little bit. Yeah, you can see it's looking real nice. Nice form and everything, and it's hotter than anything, so I don't want to keep touching it. But I've just been letting it run. I just started it using the belts on this thing to just turn it by hand for a few minutes just to get it to start. As you could probably tell, I had a little trouble. This is a right hand Acme worm, and I accidentally cut the worm for left hand. Yes, yeah, stupid me, but it's kind of. It cut the teeth out and started pushing the metal around to turn it from a le left hand to a right hand. So the tops here don't look too great but the bottoms look like normal and the form is really nice I'll put a picture up here if you're planning on doing this prepare to clean this brass stuff gets everywhere just drip a little oil on it once in a while and you're good to go just let it go it'll form the teeth on its own sorry Looks like the teeth are forming quite nicely now. But yeah, it's coming along quite well. So, I got it backed off here. But it should be enough for a Oh, yep, it's still hot. Try to get it here. Man, is that booger hot? Yeah, it looks nice. Nice tooth profile and everything. So I think it's good to go for the dividing head. I just got to make another worm to match this one and then run it in the same way. The Let me set this down. Okay, the setup here is just I have a piece of 3 8 flat bar 
and I made a nut. It has a half inch thread on the bottom here that goes down into the T-nut, which is the same T-nut I made for the quick change tool post. And the other side is a 5 8 fit. I couldn't get exact right, so I put a piece of bandsaw blade and a brass shim to get it up to height because I thought I had it measured correctly and it can be deceiving. There is so much brass dust everywhere. I'm going to have a hell of a time cleaning this up. But yeah, just one bandsaw blade and a brass shim to get it to height. I'll tear the thing apart and we'll come back. I'll show you the parts of this thing. I'll show you this part. <clears throat> yes, I did not make it run true. I wasn't worried about it because all you need it to do is stay in one place and that's what it does. So yes, it is all over the place. See, it's just that. I needed some way to tighten it down in, so I just took it to the belt sander and sanded two flats on it for the wrench to go on. And it fits nice. Since this has the boss here, I took a 7 8 inch drill bit, put shaking hands, and just did it about halfway so that it cleared this or cleared the everything and then a half inch hole through the rest. That's all it is, just one simple jig. Now I just gotta make the worm for the thing to match those same dimensions. Clean all this up and As you can see, the worm has worked pretty good. It's still pretty sharp. The shaft is stainless steel. It's, I think it's either 304 or 316 or 316 L. So I am not using it for shafts because you have to tap holes in it and cut threads using a die on the outside. So I'm going to buy some. Uh, cold rolled steel for this stuff, the rest of it. I just gotta go pick it up. But no vehicle right now, so. Yeah. That is the fixture and hobbing thing. We'll come back and do it up here, put it in. Okay, I'm back. We got this. Teeth look really, really nice. Even though I cut it at the wrong angle for the, yeah, it turned out very nice because it kind of formed the threads. So, yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, just. Oh, spindle break. There. When you go in. Um, now, it's starting to look like a real dividing head inside there. I need to recast this part here, so this will be on hold until I can get this cast. I need a faceplate and a few other things done up also. So this will probably be on hold for a few days because we got storms pretty much every day for the next week or so. So I'll figure out what to do. I might I'll have to still make the hob or the worm gear for the thing but most of the hard work is already done right here. Okay, I think I'm going to call it. Thanks for watching. See ya.
Also, note to self, if the worm gear is a left hand, you have the shaft for the hob coming out the left. If it's right hand thread, it'll come out to the right. The shaft will be tilted this way for right hand or this way for left.